Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. So today uh, we will continue our last chapter, chapter 9, uh, which is memory uh, devices. This is the lesson of Kau for chapter 9. So at the end of uh, this lesson, the student should be able to uh, explain uh, what is a RAM, okay, concept, uh, concept of RAM. And then you can explain the operation of RAM. So we have two operations, read and write. Uh, you can determine the memory components, uh, for example, the capacity of memory, uh, the number of address line, and uh, the last outcome is you can draw the memory diagram. Okay, introduction of memory. Uh, so RAM is organized as an array of memory cells okay, together with an address recorder and input output driver. Okay, uh, meaning that, <coughs> sorry. For your RAM, um, you have uh, memory cells. Okay, so each memory have their own uh, address. Okay, so memory cell uh, can be constructed. Okay, by using SR latch and also the logic gates. Memory cell will be activated or selected when the cell light is one. So cell light is actually one of the component uh, for the memory. And then uh, we have two operations of memory, which is read and write. So the operation of read and write is actually based on the value uh, that uh, uh, give to the uh, read and write head. Okay? Uh, for example, if your read and write is equal to zero, so the value of input uh, will be stored in the latch. So uh, meaning that the operation is actually the operation of uh, writing. Okay? So write something to the uh, memory set. And then uh, if the read and write is equal to 1 so bit store in SR latch will be the output uh, so here is actually uh, refer to the process of uh, reading okay, reading from the memory cell okay, so this is the component uh, the diagram sorry, the diagram of your uh, memory <laughs> right so this is example of memory uh, so this memory is actually example of memory 4 times 3 okay, 4 times 3 uh, which is we have uh, 12 uh, memory cells yeah, so the construction of memory is uh, written like this eh? uh, we have two value 4 for example eh? we have uh, 4 times with 3 so 4 uh, is actually referring to the uh, location okay how many location that you have uh, in your memory and then uh, the other value in your components 3 for example is actually referring to how many uh, bits okay, that can be stored in one uh, locations. Okay, so based on this memory, four times three meaning that yeah you have twelve memory cell. So each memory cell can store. <coughs> sorry, each memory cell can store uh, one bit. So for each uh, memory access, uh, we have address. Okay, so the address we decode uh, the location or the address and then select okay one of the row okay to store the bit so for your memory cell uh, me actually referring to memory uh, enable okay, meaning that we select the memory okay because uh, in one computer you can have more than memory chips right yeah so you need to select which memory that you, you can store the data so that's why uh, the processor will give the value to the memory is uh, either 0 or 1 so if the memory number is 1 meaning that you select the memory chip okay when you select the memory chip so what kind of operation that you want to produce to the memory so if you want to produce the process of writing okay, meaning that you store something okay to the memory cell so the rw must be equal to 0 okay so when rw equal to 0 so the data from the input will be written to each cell of the row selected okay and then if your rw is equal to one so the data from the row selected will be passed to, to the output so the, here is actually the process of uh, reading okay, reading the uh, if the data okay, that is stored in your memory cell so memory component can manufacture in the size of two power of n time width M. Okay, where N and M can vary over a wide range of the number. 
Okay, so this is the uh, formula or the components how we can uh, represent the memory. Okay, to power of n, okay, time with m. So n is actually uh, referring to input line. Okay, input line. Uh, or uh, we can uh, known as the address line. Okay, so this is address line. Uh, sorry, it's not input line. It's address line. Okay, address line. And then M is actually referring to word size. Okay, word size uh, or how many bits? Okay, that you can store in one location or in one uh, row. Okay, so this is how you write the memory component. Uh, for your memory okay so 2 power of n time with m okay n is actually referring to the address line okay and then m is actually referring to word size uh, okay? so this is the meaning of n and also m okay example for this memory okay 4 times 3 okay 4 times 3 memory Okay, 4 times 3 memory has address line of 2. Okay, because n is actually referred to 2, right? So, meaning that for this uh, memory component, how you can determine the address line? Okay, so you need to change to the format of 2 power of n. Okay, so you need to uh, change to the format of 2 power of n time with m. So, that's why it, it will equal to 2 power of 2 time with 3 okay so the address line here is actually equals to 2 okay so 2 is your address line okay and then the word size okay is equal to 3 uh, so this is our word size okay and then uh, the basic diagram of memory so this is your uh, basic diagram of your memory so what you need to have uh, for your memory uh, diagram okay uh, you need to have the input data line okay you need to have the output data line the read write line okay and e and also the address line okay so for each uh, labeling uh, you have uh, their own value okay so how you need to know the number of line for each uh, label so for input and output data okay the line is actually you need to refer to the word size okay you need to refer to the word size so if your word size is 3 so that's why your line here is equal to 3 line okay 3 line for input and output data because your memory is 4 times 3 okay so line for input and output data is actually uh, referring to your word size. Read, write and ME line, only one line. Okay. Read, write and ME line, only one line. And then address line is actually referring to the value of N. Okay. So for this example, okay, 4 times 3. So 4 is actually equal to 2 power of 2. Okay. So that's why your address line you have two line. Okay. Uh, so here address line is actually refer to the value of n. Okay. So this is how you draw the basic diagram of your memory. So we look at another example. So this is another example. 8 times 4 memory. So 8 times 4 memory consists of 32 memory cell yeah so 32 memory cell so how you can know the memory cell you just time or multiply for both values okay 8 times 4 so that's why you will get 32 yeah so address line what is address line so address line here is actually equal to 3 okay why 3 because 8 okay 8 you need to uh, change to the uh, formula or the format of your memory component that's why you will get 2 power of 3 okay so 2 power of 3 you will get 8 
kit tie with four. <laughs> yeah. And the word size. Okay, so word size here is four. So this is your word size. Okay, the second value which is M. Okay, so this is your M. Three is actually your N. Okay. So based on this memory, uh, this is how you draw your memory diagram. Okay, this is how you draw your memory diagram. So input and output data is actually referring to M value. So this is your M. Okay. Yeah. So eight times four. So uh, four is your M. Okay. Yeah. So that right here you have four lines. Okay, for input and output. Yeah. Uh, read write only one, M E only one. So address line. Okay, based on this value N. Okay, so this is N value. So that's why you have three. So this uh <coughs> this diagram is actually we can refer to the full uh memory diagram. Okay, uh, meaning that the line is uh, fully follow the number. Okay, for your end and also the end. So actually, we can draw your memory uh, by using this simplified okay, memory diagram. Okay, basically, we use a simplified memory diagram because um, uh, the value for your N and also M maybe uh, have uh, the uh, bigger number. Okay, so bigger number. For example, if your N or your address line is 31, so how you you are going to draw your memory by uh, put all the 21 lines like so uh, uh, we need another uh, method how you can draw the memory diagram by using the simplified way okay so i show you the simplified version of uh, memory uh, diagram okay how you can draw the memory diagram okay, okay yeah. all right so um, I want to draw for eight times four eh, by using the simplified. Yeah, so this is simplified. Okay, so you have memory. Okay, so this one uh, is eight times four. Eh. So um, basic line for each level must has one line. Okay, uh, has one line. At least you have one line. Okay, for example, for your input, output. Okay, so this is your input. This is your output. Okay, and then this is your RW. And this is your ME. And below is your address. Okay. So how you can draw the simplified version of your memory diagram. Okay. So for example, input and output data. Okay, input and output data is actually referred to M value, right? Okay, 4. Okay, so for the four, uh, full version, you need to draw all four lines. Okay, but for simplified version, you just draw only one line. And then you just put slash here. And then put a value, 4. Okay, meaning that each line, for this line, is actually representing four lines. Okay, but we simplified okay, by drawing only one line and then we put the value that representing the uh, M value okay, for input and output line. Okay, same goes with your address line. So how many address lines? So based on this full version, you need to have three. Okay, so you need to have three lines right, for address line. So for the simplified version, okay, you just draw one line. Okay, and then put slash here and then you put a value of 3 okay because 3 is actually representing 3 line okay 4 representing 4 line okay uh, so this is how you draw a memory diagram okay by using the simplified version okay so I suggest you to draw by using the simplified version of your memory yeah, because after this, uh, you are going to learn uh, the other part, which is the last part, expanding memory diagram. So for expanding memory diagram, the value is actually larger than this value, especially for the address line. Okay, so you may have 
more than 10 of address line okay so we, uh, we are going to draw the memory okay by using the simplified okay simplified version of memory diagram 